Three reasons the Seahawks will beat the Buccaneers on Sunday. Sports News Online. No Earl Thomas, no problem. Sunday's clash between the Seahawks and Buccaneers puts to scorching hot teams against each other. The Seahawks, winners of their past three, will travel to Tampa Bay to take on the Bucks, who are back 2.500 after upsetting the Chiefs on the road last week. This is a huge game for both teams, but particularly for the Buccaneers, considering the game is at home. If they can upset the Seahawks and get some help from the Cardinals, who are taking on the Falcons, the Buccaneers could move into a tie for first place in the NFC South. Unfortunately, that's easier said than done. The Seahawks are likely to be without Earl Thomas and his haunt shed, but they have Richard Sherman 25 who will play a huge role in this one. Here's why the Seahawks will beat the Buccaneers and move to 8-1. to one. 3. Richard Sherman will take away Mike Evans. There's absolutely no doubt that Mike Evans is Winston's favorite receiver. He's been targeted 121 times in just 12 games, quickly approaching his 2015 total of 148. The reason for that is because the Buccaneers don't have a really reliable number one receiver, and Evans is simply outstanding in jump ball situations. There's just one problem with this offensive game plan, Richard Sherman will line up across from Evans. Sherman has traveled with receivers this season, and he's likely to do so against Evans this week. If that's the case, Evans could struggle and have one of his worst games of the season. His targets will be down, big plays will be taken away and 50-50 balls won't be as easy to come down with given the size and length of Sherman. If Evans is limited by Sherman, Winston will likely struggle to move the ball. This season, 65 of his 228 completions have gone to Evans, which is a very large number.